it went from this to this. Hi. So as you know, the Kimo Max has some issue where it's not this, it's basically mostly all of the 3D printers out there have an issue with the bed leveling, not leveled. Mine has a problem. I thought I could get away with it. I've been getting away with this bed not leveled for a long time now. But as of today, I was trying to print something and it failed miserably. I'll show you right now. I was trying to print this and it's really big. This is a large piece and it's this is how it turns out. I have no idea why and or how, but it's not good. This part up here is good, but this bottom part is quite bad. Now I'll show you my bed leveling for the K1 Max. Okay, so apparently that is how my bed looks. Yeah, it's really bad. This thing is very high up and it's very low down. It's tilted like this at an angle. Which I find is pretty um, not not bad to fix. It's not the worst things to fix. What I'm gonna do is print some spacer right here. Um, Create the K1 and K1 Max bed leveling spacer, I believe. Um, this is from Maker World. It's made by Need It Make It, and I download all of this. My K1 is currently printed right now. I'm using Polymaker ASA because people said that if you print high temperature and stuff like that, PLA will soften and it will not be good. Your bed leveling will change. ASA has a higher heat until it softens. So after I printed this, I will show you which place or which side that my key one is low and which is high. Even the middle layer is not even attaching together. But hopefully, these spacer will be able to fix that. Before these finish printing, and I'm gonna install them, I've been doing many research on YouTube, on Google, on Reddit, and stuff like that. People say that there are a couple ways you can level your K1 or K1 Max bed, and I found this is the best way because the other way, it's from Creality. They show you how to level your bed by tipping your printer over to its side taking off the bottom panel, unattach the belt from the printer, and then adjust your lead screw, rotate your lead screw to whichever side is low, whichever side is high. Many people do that and it doesn't really work, so they just made some spacer, put it on the corner, which side is low, which side is high, and they have more success. So that is what I'm gonna be doing after this is done printing. Hopefully it fix everything. Hooray! It's done printing. Let's go. Now I can finally put these to the test. Okay, I got them printed, but um, uh, I don't know what happened to my printer. It, it did not print that well, so <laughs> you can't really see the number. This one is a 0.2 millimeter, and I, I can't really see the rest. Don't know what is happening to the K1 Max. Okay, so if we look at my bed mesh here, uh, this right here, that is zero zero. So that's this corner because every single time I print, this corner lifts up the most, and that back corner it's super close to the bed. So if you look at this mesh, it resembles that. This right here is where I said, and this right here is where it lives the most because that's the highest point. And over here, that's where it's like really dig into the bed. So I'm gonna put a spacer at the back here and see if that fix this problem. Open the door all the way. So much room access here. Let's take that off. Unfortunately, I can't really get back there. So I'm gonna make myself more space by lowering the bed all the way down. Okay, I think that is good enough. So I can have more room, access all the way over here. Okay, apparently it's, there's like no room, so I guess I'll have to take everything off and then put it and then put everything back in. Okay, I got all them off, so now I'm gonna put the spacer right here. So, so apparently it's off by almost one. I guess I will have to use the biggest one, which is um this one. Let's put this in and see if that fixes the problem. And 
and this is, I believe, if that's correct, 0.6, and that's one, so I think that needs like a 0.4 millimeter. I don't know which one is 0.4, but um, I'm assume this one is 0.4. I have this thing, why am I assuming, right? So let's reset that. This is the 0.4, nice. I'm gonna put all the screw back in. I got all the screw back in. I'm gonna do auto level. Start detecting. Do not touch. <laughs> Let's wait until this finish and hopefully the result is good. Okay, the self check is complete. How do we check? For some reason, my Creality K1 Max keep going offline for whatever reason. I don't know why. This is very, very annoying. I try everything, I try logging off, I try resetting, I try um, disconnecting the printer, I try powering off the printer, disconnecting the power cable, everything, logging off, log it in, reset everything, and nothing works, I don't know why, but it's very very annoying, and I remember I used to see there's a bad mesh leveling here, and clearly print, but not anymore, I don't know why. Now I gotta use my browser to see it, can't clear this at all, I'm gonna try to refresh it, uh, yes. Restart successful and yeah, it still shows the same result. I cannot access my files, and you can't even control from here, it doesn't even work. You cannot turn on the fan, it doesn't work. Uh, Creality is just you know kind of annoying, in my opinion, with this whole thing, it's not working. I need to root my 3D printer as soon as possible, if I'm being honest. Okay, I just refresh this thing, and my my bed leveling actually updated and as you can see here, it's a little bit teeny tiny better It actually fixes a little bit. How would I fix this back piece here because there's the screws right here Right here and right here, right? So how would you fix that piece? Why won't they just make four individual screw instead of three triangle because if they do that This is exactly how the bed is gonna look <laughs> So I don't know I see people put tin foil under here under the bed itself yeah, I see people put tin foil under here or whatever foil they want to use under the build plate here <laughs> and it kind of worked. Um, I am close to doing that. 0.53 and this is 0.62 so I just need a one millimeter here but this back piece over here still needs like what another another one millimeter to go. Oh gosh. Um, Okay, let's take this thing apart again and put one more spacer over there. Oh, I noticed one thing. This screw right here is very, very loose. This one over here is very tight. So, it might have something to do with this, to be honest. I think the thread in this might be stripped or something. Like, it's so easy to turn this one. Can I take this off? Is it possible? Why is this one so easy to... Oh, there's a bolt down here. Oh, I need to hold that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna use this thing <laughs> and actually fit. Let me check all of them. Kind of loose. Kind of loose, but whatever. Those two back there are down. This is up. Here, I'm gonna add a 0.2. Back here, I'm gonna add a 0.4. Got everything put back. Gonna put the view plate. Gonna do the rerun. All right, my second attempt is done. Okay, it's a lot better now. Uh, these two corners are higher. These two corners are lower. Um, I think the bed is not straight at this point. Um, that's what lots of people are saying that your bed is warped, so it's not like perfectly flat. Okay, so if you oh okay, so if you move this right, uh, the highest point is 0.5 on in this corner, and the lowest is about 0.1. So that's a different of point four millimeter from the middle point, the lowest point to the highest point. So it just showing a whole range of it. So okay, I did not know that. Ha. Huh. So if you click show bed level right there, right? I think that's where it's supposed to be leveled. But this is just way way high up. So you just gotta go with it. You cannot make it go down. You can just make it go up. But I think this is pretty decent, so I guess I'm just gonna stick with this. Um, I don't wanna mess around with this any further. It went from this to this. So I'm pretty happy about it. Took about 30 minutes or so. Yeah, I'll leave links down below. I'm actually kinda happy with this result. Um, 
don't know what I can do better, don't want to take off the panel, I'll, I will leave links down below so you can print these yourself. I will link the video the dude that made this mod to this printer to make a better level in the description down below. So if you want a really clear guide how to do this and you want to see what he tried, you can check his video out and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, share it, comment down below what you think about this. Uh, I know this is kind of old, but it's new for me, so I fix it. If you want to help out the channel, join my Patreon. It's only $5 per month. It's not that bad. If you think about it, it's only like, what, a couple cents per day. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. As always, keep on printing.